Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Kia. Um, I just want to do a really quick video about what's going on with the beautiful, lovely songstress Adele. So um, really quick. So I'm only going to talk about the subject for a little bit of time here and you can catch, catch the rest of my commentary on the Mocha in the Morning Show. I've actually dropped out the link for you to like the Mocha in the Morning Show on um, Facebook in the description box so you can check out the rest of the commentary, not just from me, but from the entire team. I know I haven't done a video in a while. Things have been crazy coronavirus crazy, but I want to make sure that I'm putting out more content now that things have kind of gotten back to normal a little bit. So make sure you go to Facebook, uh, join the Mocha in the Morning team, become a Mocha Marvel, and check out the show every Friday morning at 10 a.m. So let's chit chat about Adele. Um, everybody knows who Adele is. She is a Grammy Award winning, American Music Award winning songstress from London and she had really took the world by storm. When she first came on the scene, she was heavier set. Um, she was thick, but gorgeous. Gave you that really sexy 1940s, 1950s glam, like gorgeous woman. Everybody thought she was beautiful. Uh, and her weight never really came up. Um, I don't think anybody made a comment about her weight because her voice was so amazing. Why the hell would anybody care that she, you know, was big, small? Who the hell cares? Um, so over time, actually, no, recently she posted a picture of her where she looks identical to Sarah Paulson. Sarah Paulson is a thin white woman that is in a lot of Ryan Murphy productions, and they look like twins. So Adele went from being a thicker girl, probably weighing a good, I want to say, two thirty at five foot six, five foot seven, to now weigh about 140 pounds. Um, and she looks good. And if you go back to her Instagram, what I was about to say previously, she, you can clearly see this is not like she got a gastric bypass or anything. She had been losing weight over a long period of time and really stuck to it, which is great. Um, but she posted that picture of her saying thank you to the first responders in London, that they're the true heroes and they're really keeping things going in a life. It was beautiful. And a lot of so-called body positive people have been attacking her and hating on her losing weight, which made me now think, wait a minute, are we only supposed to be body positive if the person is bigger? Because that's how it's coming off on Twitter. If a person wanted to lose weight, there's not somebody supporting. I feel like the body positive movement should be coming behind and supporting saying, hey, if you want to do that, great. If you don't, that's fine too. And when that person does reach the goal that they want, it should be the body positive people saying, wow, good job. Congrats on losing the weight. You wanted to do it. You did it. But instead, a lot of the body positive people are just like, oh, she's being praised for losing weight. Oh, my God. Have we forgotten that she's talented? Nobody forgot that. The woman won awards. She has been immensely thanked. She has been invited to tributes for so many people because her talent is so amazing. And she's never had her weight brought up before. But when she came out, Matt came out, and everybody saw how much weight she had lost. Of course, the world's gonna be like, "Wow, if that's what you wanted to do, congratulations!" And and why are people on Twitter acting like again? The body positive people are saying it's bad that she lost weight or that she even wanted to lose weight. I don't understand that. How are we only body positive if it's for the girls who are? are fat but when women are smaller or in shape or want to get in shape or even women my size who are taller but thick or whatever why is that a bad thing why why can't everybody be a part of the body positive movement here's the thing it's not body positivity if it's only one body size that's included so if only big girls can be proud of their bodies and what's the point of the body positive movement they got mad about the whole you know uh, a summer body ready or swimsuit ready thing with a with thin girl picture that happened a couple years ago. They get mad whenever there's a weight loss thing that's promoted. It, it, it blows me away. It's like what they're saying is that you can only be happy and body positive if you're fat. That shouldn't be a thing. And that's not the body positive movement. And that's why I've never wanted to be a part of that shit. Like it's ridiculous. So those are my thoughts. Shout out to Adele. I think what she did is great. And if she gains it all back, great. Who cares? It doesn't matter. If someone reaches a goal, we should our cheer for them if that goal. If Lizzo decides that she wants to lose weight and she reaches that goal, great. She lost the weight. She reached a goal. It, it just, it's, I'm ready to see what the rest of the world has to, has to say about this. So drop down in my comments. Let's get the conversation started. Again, to join the Mocha in the morning show, to see us on Fridays at 10 a.m., drop down in the link below. 
um, so you can see the show and, and like the channel on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter at Kia Shakur, and you can like and subscribe to my channel for all of my wonderful content that will be coming up. So happy to get back into the groove. I will see you guys next time.